Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Gold Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at the Minnesota Wild and their recent talks with Kirill Kaprizov on a contract extension. We'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and even bigger, subscribe down below and let's take a look at forward Kirill Kaprizov. So, according to recent sources uh, over the last couple weeks, we've heard that the Minnesota Wild are looking to sign Kirill Kaprizov to a long-term contract to stay in Minnesota at the state of hockey. I think it seems like a great fit. Kirill Kaprizov, almost a point per game with the Minnesota Wild this season. He has been a star in the making in Minnesota. They've waited a long time for this former fourth round pick to come into Minnesota and really take hold of this team. I'm really excited to see what he does for the future of the Minnesota Wild. A team last year and the year before that, a team the last couple years has struggled to find offense. Kirill Kaprizov has brought this team back. I'm really interested to see what happens with Kaprizov. So we're taking a look at what the value could be for Kaprizov. So you look at a couple contracts around the league, and Kaprizov seems like a guy that's going to come in at a round, let's say it's a six or seven year deal, right? They don't max it out. Six or seven year deal. I'm going to guess around six to even eight million dollars. Six to seven and a half. Let's go with that. So rough estimate, I'm saying a seven year deal at seven. We're seeing that contract thrown around a lot, though. You look at a guy like Andrews Lee. Just got that number from the New York Islanders. Kind of a different style of player, but that same sort of guy. A top six forward that can score goals, lead, led the Islanders in goals when he got injured. This is the kind of contract we could see for Kaprizov if it's this long-term deal. And I think we could see that. If Minnesota wants to go for eight years, it may cost them even more. Uh, you're buying another year of unrestricted free agency out of Kaprizov. It may come in at over seven, maybe even 7.25 or 7.5 million per season for that eighth year. It may come too expensive. Kaprizov's 25 years old, so you're really not worrying about restricted free agency. He is a group one uh, RFA, which means he does not have the ability to get an offer sheet from teams this offseason like we saw a couple years ago with Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, William Nylander. None of those situations here. This is a guy that will be exempt from the offer sheet rule, which means it does benefit the Minnesota Wild. So they kind of get to play with whatever they want in terms of contract negotiations. And we'll kind of get an idea for how good Bill Guerin really is as a general manager because he's done a good job with some of the moves he's made. But now you're talking about a big boy situation here with Kaprizov. This is a contract that could be the difference between them winning and losing championships maybe over the next decade. I know it sounds a little bit extreme, but let's be honest, it does matter because Kaprizov is a huge centerpiece to this Minnesota Wild offense. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think of a $7 million per year for a seven-year deal? Seven years, $49 million potential contract for Kirill Kaprizov. What kind of contract do you think we'll see Kaprizov get? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to support the channel, like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, you guys know what to do, guys. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and let's go wild.